Welcome back, I'm Joe. And TJ. And this is our Read This series. This is where we feature three incredible books on a specific topic each month. This month, we're focused on daily habits leaders must do to lead better and grow faster. We're incredibly excited to introduce these books to you. TJ, why don't you introduce our first book? Sure thing, Joe. Our first book is called Make Yourself Unforgettable, How to Become the Person Everyone Remembers and No One Can Resist. This is actually by the Dale Carnegie Training Institute. What we like to show you is books that you might already know and then books that you really have to dig into that you might not have heard of. Of course, if you've read anything by Dale Carnegie, you've read How to Win Friends and Influence People. This is not a spinoff. It's something different. It's about the daily things that you can do to lift others, to grow as a leader, and ultimately to be the classiest person in the room, somebody that people know care about them. It's not about leading others, it's actually about serving them. Really important book for your bookshelf, Make Yourself Unforgettable as a Leader. Joe, what's our second book? Before I get into that, TJ, um, we don't do this too often, but uh, just push back a little bit here. When you say like the classiest person in the room and lifting others, um, I'm not really sure I'm getting it. I'm not really sure that'll work. You know, we're talking about daily habits and you're talking about being classy. Um, I'm, I'm not quite there. What are you talking about? I, you're being negative. And it's <laughs> the I, thing about the negativity and daily habits is that if we're going to grow as leaders, we have to stop thinking about what won't work, Joe. So can you get, let's get back to the program here. It's our Read This series. What's, what's number eight in this one here? You're right. You're right. And this is a great book. This is by Marshall Goldsmith. What got you here won't get you there. And what you just witnessed is something we all do. And we fall easily into that trap of just simply saying, I'm not sure that'll work. Just because you don't understand it yet doesn't mean it won't work. This book is incredible. Uh, in our podcast with Dr. Jackie Wilson, uh, she actually spoke of this book. What we find amazing about this book, though, is all the talents, all the skills that got you to your current position isn't necessarily the same skills that you need for that position. So you need to learn and grow to fulfill that position's role even better. This talks about 20 habits that you must overcome, one of them being habit eight, which you just saw, which is being negative. Pick it up, you will not be disappointed. That's a phenomenal book, it really is, it's a great one. Every month we like to introduce what we call the Mac Daddy, a must read for leadership development. This month, it's the leader habit. Master the skills you need to lead in just minutes a day by Martin Lanik. We got to interview Martin. He gave us some really clear tips, but this book, what's awesome about it is it demonstrates how you can use daily practices, institute them in five minutes a day, and really practice being a better leader. Martin Lanik shows you how in the leader habit, you gotta have it on yourself. Every month we also like to do a tip on how you can read more, consume more, and how to make that more meaningful. Joe, what's the tip? Yeah, I mean, we, every month we feature these books. We hope you're reading them. We've received a lot of feedback that people have enjoyed uh, some of what we feature, which is incredible. But realize that we also subscribe to the 70-20-10 principle. And basically what that says, it's a management theory, it's research-based, but 10% of your growth, 10% of what you're learning is coming from books, podcasts, things of that nature, trainings. You know, so it's only a fraction. So you want to maximize that 10%. The vast majority of what you learn and do is from meaningful connections and really engagements, your day-to-day -day work that you actually can take what you read and put into practice. So that's our tip. If you really want to get the most out of what you read, take time to see how you can take that skill, implement it within your day, and see the results you're looking for. That's great. There you have it. Read this series. Your leadership matters. It matters on a daily basis. That's how you develop yourself. 
please visit our blog at theschoolhouse302.com. Like, follow, share with friends, and thank you so much.